your first line of defense in a carjacking has to be using your car. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of South Africa. Shows us a carjacking that begins in typical ways but ends in good ways for the intended victims. Teaches us important lessons about the transitional space that your car is in certain moments. Teaches us about awareness and about using your car effectively to get out of the danger zone. So what we see here is the car that's pulling up is going to be our intended victim and it looks like they're just pulling over here whether to visit somebody or whatever. I'm not 100% sure but you can see the car that's pulling up behind them is our carjackers and they're going to come around and come up really tight on our victims and jump out with guns drawn but thankfully our victim is paying attention hits it in reverse and he is off and gone you see the guy running after him and that's kind of funny to me he thinks he can keep up with the car guy's going to kind of waggle out of there and he gets far enough away that the carjackers actually have to come after their uh, buddy who has jumped out of the car and is just chasing him down the street and that's how this one's going to end. He bolts around the corner here. The other guy doesn't get far enough. He finally gets far enough away from him. Looks like the guy stops trying to run after him, in my opinion. And this one's over. He gets out of the danger zone. Let's go back and learn some lessons on this one. As always, there's eight lessons on our website. Link in the description. Let's think about some now. First of all, you know, uh, you're, when you're driving, you got to be aware that you're in a public place and you have a highly valuable thing with you, namely the car. So as the carjackers come up here, they're going to pin in the front because they're used to people pushing their cars in the forward position, right? The car's made to go forward, so they try to pinch that position so that you cannot go forward anymore to make you stop. But that's why awareness is important. If you see what's going on around you, you can know where your problems are. Next, I love that our victim here got his car back in reverse and decided to get out of there. But I wanna pay attention to the fact that this guy has a gun at close range on that car. If he wants to start taking shots at you, you gotta be in a defensive position because he could it certainly have gotten some shots into the car at that point. You need to get 15 yards away from him at least. Now, hit that gas as hard as you can, and I love that he did a little waggle there. I'm not sure if it was on purpose, but it probably at least kept that guy from being able to get good aim on him. And then in this particular one, I can't tell you enough, if you take a defensive driving course, one of the things that you wanna learn how to do is a competent J-turn in your car so that you can get that car turned around and get out of there in forward because you can go much, much faster in forward than you can reverse. All in all, good awareness, good use of the vehicle, got out of the danger zone, kept the guys from getting after him and covered their ASP.